Seven more days of work. Seven more days. Seven, 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 Hey, welcome everyone to Moon Beans for Monday, June 19th. Let's start off, we have a couple special or three special meetings tonight. Let's we'll start off with special county resources. Mr. Chairman, I'm looking for that right Here, now. Monday. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, we've got a couple proposed action items today. Uh, the first one is establishing the Green County as our lead agency and determining that the Proposed Cohotate Preserve Field Station Infrastructure Improvement and Renovation Project constitutes a type one action and will not have a significant adverse impact on the environment. I need a motion on that. Overbaugh. Rivera, Rivera and Overbaugh. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? So carry. Number two is authorizing advertisement to bid Cohotate Preserve Infrastructure Improvement and Renovation Project. They need a motion on this. Lennon, uh -huh. Lucas. I have Overbaugh and Lennon. And second with Lucas also. Any discussion on this one? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? So carried. Any other business come before county resources? Motion closed. Motion by Levera. Second by. Overbought. We are closed. Sure. <laughs> Next time. Good evening, everybody. I'd like to call the Public Safety Committee, the special committee meeting to order at uh, 6 02 p.m. There's uh, three proposed action items. First one is establishing Green County as the lead agency and determining that the proposed Justice Center project constitute, <clears throat> constitutes an unlisted action and will not have a significant adverse impact on the environment. We get a motion. Yeah. 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 Bloomer, second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? <clears throat> so carry. Uh, proposed action number two, bond resolution of the County of Green in New York, authorizing the issuance of a $25 million serial bonds to finance construction of a new Justice Center building. Martinez. Martinez and Bloomer. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? So carry. The third action item is authorizing the advertisement for bids for the Green County Justice Center project. Davis. Davis and Handel. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? So carried. A motion to adjourn? So moved, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, we are adjourned. What piece of money is going to be flying out now, huh? <laughs> Not saying a word. <coughs> I'll second. Okay, let's open the special public works committee meeting 604. <coughs> two both action items authorizing the advertisement for bid for three new single axle quarter wheel drive cab and chassis and one new single axle two wheel drive cab and chassis, including some ice control equipment. Bobart Lennon Martinez. Bobart Lennon. Also a second for Martinez. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? I'm opposed. <clears throat> so carried. Number two, authorizing the purchase of two new that we point to John here. 9050E cab utility tractors. Or Lennon. That's in Lennon. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? So carried. Anything else to bring to the public works committee? Motion to adjourn. 
Tobar and Tobar. We're closed. <laughs> I'd like to open economic development and tourism committee meeting at 6.05. We have one proposed action item, but before we get into that, I'd like to get some feelers on the uh, spray park that was offered to us a month ago by Catskill, Cultivate <laughs> Catskill and the Fort Bend. I would have to say that I'm opposed to Green County putting money to that. I don't really think it's going to be a tourist attraction. Like I can't picture any of my guests going to Catskill so kids can go under a, you know, I think Catskill should, if they want that they should kind of figure out how to get the money, but I am absolutely opposed to Green County putting money into it. Understood. I am as well. I brought up the idea of the Catskill legislators putting up money with the Wayne Spienberg grant. And I thought that since it will be open to the other communities in Green County and they would be able to use it, that although the Catskill legislators put up the lion's share that the other legislators put up money to. I definitely would be in favor of using some of the grant funds for the project. Yeah. Just want to get a feel for what everybody's yeah. feeling about it. And depending what the Catskill legislators wanted to do, the other legislators could possibly kick in five hundred or a thousand dollars, and then the legis Catskill legislators would put up more. I, I don't I don't think there's enough money in that, no. in that yeah, we wouldn't program be able to, get to, to even no, touch on it. Yeah, you know, I mean I would be willing to put five hundred dollars in if Catskill was at a point where a thousand from Catskill legislators and five hundred me for me would get them where they have to be. But I truly don't I I, I just they're doing really well with their fundraising. Yeah. And they're getting pretty close. And Matt and I have had discussions. I think about the town it. is going to contribute five thousand. So yeah. maybe if we did something similar yeah. to that, you know. that's what basically we were talking about. The four council legislators, if another town five thousand contributes to, to give that, them a boost. Yeah, I mean, if like you say, if if the rest of us, if our five hundred would get you to the point you want to be, I, I don't have a problem with that. I just I do have a problem with the county financing. Mm -hmm. Sorry. How far off are they? Still get looking for fifty thousand. Yeah, but yeah. Linda said well, they come a long way. Yeah, they have. Can I, you get I some think numbers, Linda. Can you get some numbers? Bring I, back? I don't have current numbers. Can you get some? I Last time I, I can. Yeah. They have already raised sixty something thousand. Fifty three or somewhere close to that. Sixty two thousand. Yeah, they're looking for what one hundred fifty total. Yeah, yeah, one hundred fifty. Well, yeah. Yeah. I mean, from my standpoint, I'm in New Baltimore, and we have access mm -hmm. into Ravina's pool. Because we're in the school district, so mm -hmm. the school and their their village pool that has access for our residents. Um, so for me to put taxpayer dollars into it, we're going to do it twice. But I can certainly. Well, there'll be more handouts, speak. though. Everybody's going to want to step up if they choose to put a water park in. Everybody's going to be saying, "Well, Castle got this." You know how we always do. So yeah. Um, yeah. I agree with Patty. I, I just I don't think it's a good idea to to do that. Yeah. Okay. But is everybody willing to contribute something from the Spienberg grant? Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, that's along the lines of what Patty's saying. Yeah. 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 You know, if yeah. you get 500 per legislator, get them where they need to be. Sure. Totally understand. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think we need to talk to Brenda and have her do a so grant application. application. No. We'll take it from there. I mean, if they're into it, you know what I mean? I, I think it's a great thing. I mean, it, they're pretty solid in yeah, their no. fundraising fortnightly. Yeah. They've done yeah. that. a lot yeah. of fundraising and built projects. As I don't doubt that what Linda's saying is they're going to achieve fundraising goals. And I completely agree with the rest of this board that this is primarily a Catskill. Mm -hmm. The reality is 95% yep. of the time, it's just going to be Catskill kids using it, Yeah, to be quite honest with you. So 
I mean, there's other towns that use those fields. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Old timers come, so yeah, they bring right. their kids. But mm -hmm. I agree, and I and I also would like them to think about how they could somehow recycle that water. Five, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. That's a okay. That's a costly endeavor. Yeah, I'm sure. sure it is. Like a, uh, yeah. it's, it's a resource that sometimes it's. It's readily available. Right. It's not. I mean, does he work with the, within the parks and rec for the village? I mean, because the village could not saying, hey, I mean, but raise put a levy on the taxes. It's Pat, how much does a typical like tanker truck for a fire department hold? 3,500 gallons or no? I think most of the ones in the county, there's some 3,000 gallons, like 2,000. Just yeah. was wondering, like, but Tom, Carol has a big one. You got a five thousand. Yeah, I just yeah. Uh, that's a Tom special thing. You know, you have something where they can quickly hook up and fill up. You know, a, a tanker right there because there's a cistern that's got a, you know five thousand gallons in it from the water being used or something. But I mean, I don't know how. Yeah, they got to recycle the water. I mean, it's it's the only logical thing. I mean, you're paying money to process and filter water to make it right. potable for the, the community and yet you're going to let it run through the ground and down a storm sewer that doesn't make any sense right i agree i mean a pool has chlorine treatment plants and stuff like that so it's not like you know resurface and you may add now and again as evaporation or right that's what i'm thinking yeah. right i, I right. thought they had some I don't something know. in their plan for that. No, it's, it's, it was draining. And <laughs> right, it just yeah. seemed like, right. And then on days that there's a drought, you know, they can't use the water anyway. Yeah. yeah. I think that what Pete, uh, the village president, was talking about was uh, that way, you, if you've got a pool chlorination system, someone's got to monitor it all the time and check it. Oh, and, yeah. and, that, yeah. and they're trying to make it yeah. Yeah. Right. labor, it yeah, labor free. So that's why I think he was talking about just having the water drain out. But whether it's watering flowers or having a cistern there for emergency water use, well, cisterns, it's right up the hill from the village. Money too. Yeah, it's right up the right up the hill from the village. Too. Yeah, there. I mean, you should be able to have some kind of a container down potentially, there. Potentially, I mean, I don't. Maybe they have a couple spare ones already yeah. existing somewhere. So they do water Hell, all the maybe flowers. Maybe take an old aluminum tank off of a, you know, old water truck and set it there and let that fill up or whatever. Mm -hmm. Put in a new septic tank, hold it in concrete. Okay. So would everybody be willing to donate five hundred to the Steinberg Grant program? I would. I would if that would get them where they want to be. Like, I don't want that to just contribute to what they have. Like if the final thing is they need $7,000, absolutely, I'm already happy. That's what the town of Katz is doing. Yeah, yeah. It'll help. Every little bit helps when you're fundraising. Sure. Believe me, I know. I, know. I, know. I, I don't have any doubt that they will have <laughs> yeah. reached their fundraising goals. Yeah. They take a little bit more time if it's well, actually more expensive yeah. than they think. They're but. saying, well, actually, I think it's a little bit lower the price than what they're looking to raise. Yeah. So, well, they can they put any any system in there that's going to treat that water. That's going to hike it up. It's going to bring the cost. Yeah. Up. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. We'll have them put an application in and see where we go from there. And I thank everybody for their input. Okay. Now we have one action item. It's establishing a capital project number 139 for the Green County Tourism Center. Lavera? Lennon. True. Lavera, yeah. Lennon, and True. true. Yeah. And Linda, just a couple questions yeah. for Warren. I mean, this is what you are feeling, and this is going to be the expense for the remodel of that building. The estimate is 1.23. Um, that's just an estimate. We won't know what the true cost is until we go out the bid. But remember, there is contingency, soft costs, FF&A. Um, Stewards, who's giving us the building for free, is going to remediate the tanks, but we're going to have to repave it all. There's curb cut um, changes. It's just like any other capital project. At the end of the day, it's going to be a budget with a contingency. The IDA is making a significant contribution to the project. 
We won't know what the full cost is until we go out to bid and we, and we have that uh, number. And, and since it's not our action, it's the IDA, but since we're contributing to funding, I'll make sure that just like I'm bringing the design of the building back to you to look at um, iterations, that when the IDA goes out to bid, we'll come back here and talk about that price just like we would if it was our own. Um, oh, yeah, I hope so. Thank you, Okay. Thank you, Linda. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? That's passed. Anything else to come before economic Aye. development? Sure. Just one thing. Uh, I had a few people come to me about uh, installing some web cameras around the county. Yeah. Uh, one in particular up in Durham. Uh, look out. <coughs> Uh, and then also at the historic Catskill Point of light bulb. So, you know, maybe going forward, if we have some type of discussion, give us some thought, you know, it might help with tourism. I, I wrote to Warren and Sean today about it, just to start thinking about, you know, is this something that's feasible? Would it, would it draw people here? I don't know. I mean, they like the camera that's on the, the building that we have. The weather, the weather camera. Mm -hmm. You know, it shows life, you know. Yeah, it's real around. time. Yeah. yeah. Right. I mean, would we time. be able to like delete the raindrops if it were raining and like just the sunshine? <laughs> no, but you know if it was raining in somewhere else in the county. <laughs> that's interesting. I bet you I bet you a lot of the town villages would be interested in having a specific camera for their you know, oh, Hamlet so Village and <laughs> have it somehow integrated with a county website, <laughs> you know, or whatever they do. Well, we got that full ski resort. That's what I right. Yeah, yeah. ski resort, snowmobile yeah. trails, right. like Old Forge. Right. I mean, they have ten the same webcams. Mode. You check out all the. But I know right. we yeah. have the capability at the point. Yeah, uh, Greg, you may speak to the one yeah, the same the fiber at the point. The same person that approached Matt approached me, and I said we'd have to talk to Greg. Yeah. But the, what they're talking about down at the point, I think, is magnificent. I think that's tourism. Because people will hit that webcam on the top of that flagpole, mm -hmm. will look south of the river, north of the river, to the mountains, and then over to Columbia. It's it'll be a beautiful view. But Greg is going to have to let us know if that could be done. Yeah, I mean, just, yeah, I mean, we can put a, a separate cam in. And we've got eight cameras down on the point right now. Up the creek, down the river down the back side of the warehouse. So we've got you. Maybe tying some of that to our great northern cats. Is that real time, Greg? I think uh, yeah. the location of the I mean, you got is critical like this. Location is critical. Yeah. So we can stream that. You know, we can redirect that the, video stream. Yeah, yeah. But I, I'm yeah. thinking the person that asked us is talking about something a little higher up. There is another one on the top of the building. Yeah. Okay. On the freight master or the barn? The barn. <laughs> there, am I? Yeah, and that's a 8K. I, mean, I think every I town would. That's just cool. I guess every town has a little. Yeah, I think they're. they're Carol, just some and one shot of you. And this is just on the whole park. park. You know what? I can really park. zoom in. You can park. Yeah. 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 Camera, at the point, there's camera. No, no. Not, not right now. I can redirect the stream and maybe put it someplace on the tourism website. Or, and there's or free Wi Fi. It right. is our event destination facility. It is a tourism draw as a location in terms of priority wise in the county. My opinion is that would be the number one place to put a camel trip webcam. Just like there's one up here on top of the building mm -hmm. that's um, paid for and managed by Channel 13. Right. Um, I went look at it today. Right. It was live. Yeah. We need a place that there's people, activity, it's a meaningful cam view, yeah. so people will keep coming back to it. <laughs> right. Um, right. And that is a low cost, easy installation compared to. You need fiber and power and connectivity. You need the holes and. We I mean, from past experience, explore how challenging right. that can be sometimes to, to right. put all of that stuff together. Right. I mean, the view that is a channel 13, is it? Channel 13. Yes, yeah. the view that they you know, I watch in the morning. I mean, obviously, they're looking at the creek, then they look at the mountain range. Uh, but down at the point, I they could get all that plus more. 
I think that would be more better yield personally. I mean, it's, it's something I can add an extra camera down there. Um, you're not going to want it on the pole because then we got there's no conduits out there for any of that, right? So you're talking construction. I can mount a separate one at the warehouse with more of like a but is that going to be a see, this is how many floors here? Four floors mm -hmm. here, right? So we're on a roof here. Right. So there you're only looking at what? How much? Like 25 feet to the peak. 25 feet. Yeah, not as high as that. And this is what? I mean, oh, we can put a different type of camera. Yeah. Uh, that encapsulates more of the All right. I mean, we've got the system in place. Yeah. So it's just, just add on. Put this thing on the camera. And, and <laughs> making a webcam so people could go yeah, on any given time. Like what I would do is just reroute it to the website or take the stream from that, no. route it to the website, and we just use that one camera. Yeah. That. The rest of these are just strictly for right. yeah. Yeah. security. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Can I see Durham from there? Can't see Durham in there, no. <laughs> can't see Durham from anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> We're the not other, the garden spot of the county. The other, the other thing that I heard was, and I know we've talked about this, but uh, docks off of on the parking lot here and docks down at the historic cats. Would it be feasible to do something like that as well? To bring in more tourism. I think that's an IDA thing. I said years ago, if you did the farm markets and marketed it, You'd be the home of Organic Valley instead of buying three cucumbers for a buck. I know we're, we're putting in docks down at the historic Casco Point for the sheriff. So could we put in a few extra docks for the general public? This side of the same. The bridge. problem is when you go on the bridge, like a like a boat, an average boat, like a 24, 25 foot boat, drafts 36 inches. So that means that the that outdrive is going to be 36 inches below uh, water line, and High and low tides, the, the the rock shelf outside of where we are here, it's it's not because that's why it, where um, McDonald's bookstore was. Mm -hmm. We're going to put docks there. You know they they put a lot of money into drilling right. and because right. it was so they had to get rid of rock ledge or anything else. I mean it's a great idea. The problem is that that it's not it gets so shallow up here and it's hard it's hard rock. Unless you consider a, a, a kayak launch, right? yeah, you know, not a powerboat, but something that could. The Coast Guard a long time ago had approved uh, docks in front of the Foreland building. Yeah, we had we had at one point allowed the former developer of the Foreland and, and the second building was going to be a restaurant. Mm -hmm. and we went. We entered into a contract to allow the developer to put docks in all the way along our property. His expense, mm. yeah, with contractual language for liability. Yeah, I mean, my here would be going to liability pretty quickly. Yeah, really. I think I'm <laughs> okay. Anything I think else it's worth looking into, though? Yeah. I mean, if we can, yeah. even a kayak launch, then something, something that would bring people there. There is but, a kayak launch yeah. across this creek at the it's school. Terrible. Yeah, but I don't know if the school it's really. Yeah. 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 I mean, kayak walks in muck. Right. Well, walking in Mark, they, they I'll speak to the cats go on because I kayak out of there. And, um, it's mud. It was filled in. The school did go through the expense before Hurricane Irene and mm -hmm. Sandy to gravel it. And at that, that was the only time that it was nice. Um, I would picture something, if you're, if you're thinking that, think of the one that soil and water put in at the base of First Street in Athens. Which is really a, a sea doo launch that's used as a kayak launch. It actually works a little cumbersome to roll with me. <laughs> um, but I haven't been up to see the new one. There's a new one at the state boat launch in Athens, also supposedly put in in the creek this year. It's nice to launch in the creek as opposed to launching in the river. And actually, um, up at the Lake George, if you go into Bolton Landing, where the Bolton Landing Beach is, they have a floating launch where it has rollers on it. Yeah. And you could just put it on and 
Yeah, that's so far, similar to the one. You just go right into the air yeah. inbound. Similar. Right. And there, there is a lot of, but in the weekends, there's a lot of kayakers come up from Dapper Creek. Yeah, yeah. the same thing. The authority uh, comes all the way up or <laughs> but I mean, from a, from an economic economic development standpoint, it's like a driver. Obviously, as Matt's talking, you would want the boats to come up and dock there. They're going to bring four and five people on the boat. And they're going to walk up the main street for dinner and whatever they're going to do, a cup of coffee shopping. That's where the real driver is. You want to get the boats in there. The kayaks are all, I understand the kayaks. You got one person, maybe two. But they're not prepared to go spend, you know, go have dinner and this and that and everything else. That, you know, I mean, it would be a driver for Casco, that's for sure, economic driver. If you well, could, not if just we, Casco for the county. I mean, I mean for the county, but I mean, real estate here on the creek. No, I mean, listen, uh, Casco, you know, the county benefits, but the the activity would take part in Casco. That's where you, that's what you want. And how much frontage does highway have? That's all used now. That's right. being it's used. all yeah. used by the yacht club. It's all used. Yeah. Yeah. I don't remember That's private property. <laughs> I don't remember contract. That's private property. Underwater grant for that. Huh? They have an underwater grant <clears throat> So it's not ours. We don't own the underwater grant. Sure. I believe so. We pay, we actually pay for the state. He knows. He knows yeah. But we are putting in docks for the sheriff's boat, aren't we? Somewhere? Yeah, yeah, we, on the river, on the creek side, where the old docks were. Yeah, yeah, we had an old four unit uh, docking system that was just in terrible condition, so we pulled it out rather than have an accident. Right. It's just shallow. Because we've lost the marina now. Right. You know, the sheriff always had a or quid pro quo with right. the marina owner. So, as part of the uh, Stabilization of the bank on the bar side. We're going to have a, a section to put all these uh, seasonal docks on the creek side. But the docks that you had before that were along the point, I mean, you you could improve those where they could take take on. That's what we're talking about. Yeah. Right? yeah. I mean, those those years ago were actually good good no, docks. No. You could. The, the docks are now shot. They're, they're no, I know, but I'm saying, and, and they replace them with different, shorter docks. You put the, the better, longer docks. It would, it would yeah, so we're we're designing bid specs for that now. So you could add, pick a number, uh, five, ten. You know, but then is that just? Are you going to add power? Are you? You know, I don't think we're going to get into water. Actually, like you just do like they do in Cassfield or Kingston. When you go up the strand, the city has city docks there. And it's just like when you pull in front of a, a, a car spot with the meter, you go up, you see the guy, you buy so much time. And you know. those city docks are owned by the city and operated by a private charge a certain amount. They, they take reservations, right. and overnights, and they provide services. It's no different than a private arena. But there's no. I haven't been there in a while, but I don't remember power and water. There was power and water. On. Is there now? Not now. It's been for the last at least 15 years. It's a private operator. It's, it's a walk to downtown. Yeah, I'm just thinking it's something that we should brainstorm. You know, we have some prime property on the river and the creek and to utilize it to the best that we can. And I don't know if we want it to. I compete with our business. Yeah. No, I don't want to say compete, but you have, you have, you have so more opportunity. This one story, they were uh, in Whitehall, New York, which was the last stop to like Champlain for your analysis. But there were two large private marinas with restaurants and fuel. And I guess the uh, leaders of that community decided as a couple along the way had like Mechanicsville being one, let's put up a wall with free dockage to attract more boats coming through on the canal. And a lot of people avail themselves of the free dockage, free water, and free electric. And so those two marinas shut down. I don't know how it is today, but six years ago, you couldn't get fuel to make it through the narrow into that Champlain. Careful. 
And we're losing the marina that's there. He's selling that. Right, Mike's. Yeah. 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 We still have two marinas up up the creek. Yeah, I'm not saying put in a marina, yeah. but another one. Yes. Yeah. That's yeah. true. Okay. Something to toss around. Yeah, something to think about. Yeah. Anybody have anything else? Motion to close. Motion to close. Second. Harry and Matt. Thank you. You need to lose control. I almost Charlie did. tried. <laughs> I don't think I've ever lost control. <laughs> Okay, good evening. I'd like to open up the Government Operations Committee at 631. We have three resolutions, but first we have the Director of Real Property Tax, Mr. Ray Ward, and he is going to tell us about the analysis of the senior tax exemptions. I'll be brief so I don't leave up Charlie's time. Um, <laughs> You all got the seven page report. Sorry, it's so lengthy, but in order to make it doable, I had to break it down. This was a request from my towns, not, and it was a good report out to you guys also. Um, we had two main catalysts this year. We raised the income limit in December to 34,000 to keep up with the COLA increases since the state allowed us to move off the 29,000 upwards to 50,000. And then late in December, the state pulled a fast one and passed legislation or the governor signed legislation that had been passed in the spring, which required a second mailing. <coughs> um, so trying to get, if you remember about a year ago, I was talking about this and I, I said we had lost like 70 to 80 seniors over the lifespan of 15 years. We always had around 900 seniors exemptions. We had dropped off to 820. The bulk of that happened during the pandemic. Um, there was really not a lot of explanation as to why they were dropping off. Uh, we tried to surmise a bunch of different things. Um, so the catalyst of those two um, caused almost 200. And probably by the time the uh, Board of Assessment Review changes come in, because there were some competitive ones, It'll be over 200 new exemptions. So we now have gone up to, I don't know, 1,057, 1,037 in the county. Um, the, the thing is, is uh, the majority of them are at the 50%. So we have sliding scale. You can get a 50% exemption if you meet the minimum or you, the, the maximum income limit of 34,000 for 50% up to $42,899 uh, for a 5% exemption, and it slides all the way in the middle. 150 of the new exemptions are at the 50% level. So it caused a, a shift and, and quite a drastic shift if you read through, and I, I'm, I'm not going to go through it bullet point by bullet point. Um, the county tax shift was minor. On an average single family home, which I reported last month at 311 grand or something like that, uh, it's about $1.72. Um, the big impact was in Catskill because of those uh, 200 exemptions, almost 100 of them were in the town and village of Catskill and in the Catskill School District. So they saw the biggest shift. Um, villages that their village taxes on a single family home in the village of Catskill is going to go up $7.11 roughly. That's assuming the levies all stay the same. Um, town, again, minor, $3.50, but the school is almost uh, $16.43. So you're looking at a village home seeing a huge impact. Um, and basically, if you look at the report, I broke it out. The first bullet item is the county. Go to the back pages, pick your town, pick your school district. And if it's in a village, you can add up the impacts and what it would mean to your, to your constituents. Um, you have any questions? I mean, this is what it took to put this report together. So 
I'm pretty familiar with it. I can go through anything that you want. Um, the impact is the impact. We, we really lost, we didn't lose control of it. It was the state allowing things to go up. We thought we were doing the right thing and then they did one more thing. And the comment I got from some of our assessors is the people that came in with the new exemptions are people that probably should have had the exemption 10, 15, 20 years ago. They had no idea it existed. Um, some of the most destitute seniors that we have, that's why there's 150 of them at 50%. Um, so it was a good thing. We're help, you know, in that regard, we're helping our seniors out. Um, so the impact is the impact, but what I want you to start putting in the back of your mind, and I'll be back in the fall, probably October, um, to talk about uh, the state passed legislation this year, uh, changing the definition of the income. It was very convoluted for all these years, additions, subtractions, what was income, what wasn't income. They've now simplified it. It's basically your federally adjusted gross income. Um, and there are three local options that can happen. You can uh, add medical, which we've never done. That was in the previous. You can add uh, untaxed social security or, and the other op local option would be to deduct IRS, non-taxable IRS, non-taxed IRS distributions. And then there's two options which are not local option that so that get adjust that adjust that income. One is business losses. They put a cap on that of three thousand per business loss, uh, up to five loss to a max of fifteen thousand. Um, so we're going to have to think hard coming coming in October when we normally look at raising the, the income limit. We're going to have to look and say, do we want to do the options? I've spoken to a couple of the assessors. I did put a, a poll out to them and in late May. Um, I'm sure they're going to have discussions with their town boards, uh, what they want to do. The indication coming back is to hold status quo for a year. Um, and even though we're already looking at a three to 4% COLA increase in SSI, that's the projection right now as of a week or two ago. Um, I don't want to hurt any senior, but on the same hand, I don't know how much more of an impact our regular resident taxpayer can have. So, any questions? Uh, Ray, those dollar amounts, just for clarification, those were total annual amounts. That those were not rates per thousand, correct? correct? Yeah, that was looking at an average single family home. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, Ray. Thanks, Ray. Did you send this out in email? Yes. Was I? Did you? No, it was just on the results. It's not agenda. Reports in your oh, okay. Okay, we will move on to the resolution. It's number one, a resolution in support of National Infrastructure Bank. I'll move that. I'll second that. One we had the Zoom call on. Additional information that people want. I and I spent a lot of time this weekend looking it up, reading about it, going to the links Pat sent to us. There is some stuff I'm skeptical, skeptical about, but I think overall it would be a good thing to do. We do a lot of infrastructure that's failing in this country and a funding revolving funding source where people could borrow towns counties and states could borrow money to do this with i think it's a good idea so all in favor aye aye, aye. aye. those opposed no no Tammy, yeah let's show our hands please on aye so we can get that correctly I mean, that's like the biggest non for profit organization. Oh, I know. Oh, just two notes. So, two committee notes, yes. Again, this is, this is us asking the congressman to put his support for it. This is not us holding on. Oh, I understand that. This is here he has a bill that he's buying up instead of from the top down. And they can't even run what they got now. <laughs> that's the truth. <laughs> okay. 
Again, so, so yeah, yeah. 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 Lucas, that three or two? Who is there? Okay. Okay, number two, amending resolution number 27911, adoption of the Green County Administrative Manual. Over Bob. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. 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 Ed, I assume this, this was put through by Nymar. No, I wouldn't say Nymar. No. It's just it's just us keeping up with the new requirements yeah, yeah. and making changes to these things. It's kind of a housekeeping issue. Okay, number three, approving the uh, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. 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 Is anyone opposed? Passed. Number three, approving the standard workday for elected and appointed officials for retirement purposes. I'll make that motion. Right. Right. All in favor? Aye. 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 Is anyone opposed? Very. Is there anything else to come before government operations tonight? I want to entertain a motion for adjournment. Sure. Thank you. They're closed. Ready? Okay, we'll call a finance committee meeting to order. Um, several resolutions that Matt will keep still and get through real quick. Like, first, the bond resolution, County of Green, New York, authorized the issuance of $25 million serial bonds to finance construction of a new Justice Center building. Leonard. Mr. Leonard. Overball. Overball. Anybody else? Seconded also. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? So carried. Number two, resolution support of National Infrastructure Bank. Davis. Davis. Linger. Chairman. Seconded. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Opposed. Mr. Buish and Lavera. Buish and Lavera. Alert. Yeah. Yes, thank you. Number three, authorization advertising to bid hold, take, preserve infrastructure improvement and renovation project. Martin has one. Like Martin has leg. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? That's carried also. <laughs> Four, authorized agreement to create Council on the Arts. Planet. Leonard Davis. Davis seconds it. All in favor of that resolution? Aye. 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 Opposed? That's carried. Number five, authorized Green County Culture Fund contracts. Okay. All in Davis. Davis seconds it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? That's carried. Six, authorized purchase of LPR Speed Trail. Martinez. Leonard. 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 Leonard or Leonard Hobart doesn't really matter. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? That's carried. It, it's a good uh, tool. They read the plate number, and they can send you a ticket through the mail to hold that. No, no ticket. Anyway. No, no ticket. No. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's, uh, no. <laughs> no, they, that's not what they're going to use it for. Well, but more than that, you put it near a school, keep the traffic down. You know, it's 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 a good it's a good thing. You can laugh, but uh, we're in front of your school. Ah, uh, that's the bad. Number seven, authorizing the purchase of vehicle fire training simulator. Omar, Omar, Davis, Davis, second. All favor. Aye. 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 Eight, 
awarding bid ice shields or radio tower site shelter Hunter Mountain and Wyndham Mountain Tower site. Mr. Right. Lake? Yep. Are you awake? I'm awake. Uh, <laughs> no. Lake, seconds it. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? That's carried. Nine, authorized advertisement for bids three new single axle four wheel drive cabin chassis and one single axle two wheel drive cabin chassis, including snow and ice control equipment. I'd like to make that. Leonard. Leonard seconded. it. All in favor of that. Aye. 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 Opposed? I'm opposed. Sorry. Okay, number 10, accepting formal proposal for the repair of the granite curbing for the county route 83 bridge of Gary Creek pin number 3303052 town of honor. Who lives up there? Mr. Lake? Yes. You're awake. I'm awake. I'd like to second it. Lavera. Mr. Lavera. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? That's carried. 11, authorizing the implementation and funding of the cost of 100% the cost of a transportation project, which may be eligible for federal aid and or state aid or reimbursement bridge New York funds. Hobart, who else? Mr. Lake? Let's make over. All in favor of that. Aye. Aye. All is that scary. <laughs> Number 12, awarding quick quotes for paving contract under New York State contract. Bill Lennon. Buick, Mr. Lennon, second. All in favor? Aye. All is that scary. 13, authorized purchase of two new 22 John Deere 5090E cab utility tractors. I'd like to make that. Second. Troy, I just got a question for Scott. Uh, this is what Harry did. John Deere's? For the Don't 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 New residential drop off infrastructure at Casco Transfer Station. Over Mr. Lavera, Mr. Overball, second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Oh, that's also carried. 15 authorized purchase of two new composting machines for Kuxaki and Hunter Transfer Station and budget amendment. Hobart, Lennon. Hobart, Lennon. If these Mark work Penn. out, Charlie, Anybody if up? these work out in Kuxaki and Hunter, as well as it worked out in Catskill, are we going to consider Wyndham? Last place. That's what Linda just asked. Yeah, right, Linda. I agree. Yeah. All right. Yes, yes. Thank you. Aye. Aye. That's scary. 16 approving individual provider contract free school special, special education program. Davis. Davis. Full board. Full board second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Oh, that's carried. 17 established capital project at 139 Green County Tourism Center. Davis. Davis. Lennon. Lennon second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Oh, that's also carried. 18 budget amendment insurance recovery Green County District Attorney. Full board. Full board. Davis. David seconds it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Oh, that's carried. 19 budget amendment, Green County Highway Consolidated Local Street and Highway Improvement Program. Oh, Mark. Oh, Mark. Davis. David seconds it. All in favor? Aye. Oh, that's carried. 20 budget amendment, insurance recovery, Green County Highway. Mark Nance. Oh, Mark. Oh, Mark seconds it. All in favor? Aye. 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 It's carried. 21. Another budget amendment in insurance recovery, Green County Highway. Davis. Mm -hmm. Mr. Davis. Chairman. Who second? The chairman. All in favor? Aye. 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 All that's carried. 22 budget amendments, supplemental insurance recovery, Green County Highway. Mark Menz. Full board. Full board second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All that's carried. 23 organization pay claims, Highway. Full board. Full board. Village. Village seconds it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? That's carried. 24 organization paid claims. Mark says. Full board. Full board seconds it. 
All in favor? Aye. 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 Close. That's carried. That's all the resolution. Yeah. So let's put it tonight. Our treasurer. Charlie, sure. just before Peter sure. speaks on this insurance that uh, seems lately we've had a lot of uh, insurance claims for automotive or whatever. I mean, what have we seen on an increase in cost for our insurance? Uh, it's fixed on an annual basis, and then when I come on the renewal process, experience rating. But it probably won't hurt us too much. One was a comp that uh, for the district attorney, about $11,000. <laughs> Yeah. And then, uh, you know, I think the other one, Scott, you awake? Um, <laughs> I'm actually looking at it right now. Uh, I don't know. We just, I just wondering on the general um, policy, you know, insurance policy for the automotive. If you gotten bumped up already, probably next year. Probably next year. One was for the wreck pickup and uh, the the uh, sandery head, right? No. Yes, no. Correct. Hold. Hold yes. Hold. That is correct. Yes. The Ford truck. That's not going to say it's not going to do with the workers' comp claim. It's just no. the damages to the vehicles. Correct. Right. Right. Uh, I was just wondering if they've given you notice that the year of president is going on. Uh, no, we're, say. we're too early in the, in the year to go okay. through the renewal process yet. For, okay. Um, okay. I would agree with you this year. We probably had a higher level of accidents than we've had in the past. So, so when we balance out the experience rating, as I say, I don't, I don't think it will hurt too much. Okay. Thank you. I'm control. Thank you, Charlie. You're welcome. Is there, oh, Peter. Yeah. Almost forgot you. <laughs> That's good news? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, you've got your report in there. Basically, what's going on right now is what we expect in the summer expectation time. So payments of the liquid taxes are down, year to date payments are down. But in spite of that, <coughs> the total delinquent tax number is also down. So I don't know how to explain that. All right. The sales tax is holding. And we still like are expecting uh, $21 million from the towns that have collected for us. The important thing, I think, is to understand that the Bank of Green County has set a target for itself. The assets are $2 billion. We expect to get that in the next four months. So dealing with that has become a lot easier. We have approximately $90 million in the Bank of Green County. They are paying us 4.5%. Presco is paying 4.2 on certificates of deposit. This $90 million is not a certificate of deposit. It takes care of the three things I'm worried about safety, liquidity, and yield. 4.5 yields not bad. I'm expecting that if things continue to go the way they do. Uh, I'm going back in about six months asking them to buy it. It's very <laughs> amenable. Obviously, By the way, we need our deposits. And since we're not touching them, and they're sitting there, they're just you know, they're growing every day. Uh, I think four of them are roughly the $14 million dollars we have in Key Bank. Is required to be there for DSS and the other 10 million I have in the National Bank of Kentucky. We're looking at about 111 million dollars roughly in cash. All secure. Dealing with people I know. Dealing with people I can figure out. And if there's a problem, I can pick up the phone and make a phone call and get to the president of either bank. So, don't spend it all in one place. <laughs> Any questions for Peter? Thank you, Peter. Yeah, I would just like to say that I can get four and a quarter myself. I don't have anywhere near that amount of money in my account. <laughs> Motion adjourned. Yeah. Yes, we're adjourned. Thank you.
Was that a uh, lag and handle? Was that a term adjourned? Hobart, lag and Hobart? Hobart, second. Because they told me that. Thank you. No, 